Hey everybody, the Johnny Cage here, welcoming you back to some more of Let's Play Super Mario RPG. Last time we left off, we were doing some stuff with this evil, vile booster, who's trying to get married to the princess, and now we're gonna crash the wedding. And as we go through some brief explanation from these, uh, toads out here about how their wedding's getting crashed themselves because of booster, um, I should mention off-screen I went to Booster Pass and checked out what was over there, and all that you really get from pushing that button in Booster Tower is a little area opens up and you can get a few items. Nothing super special, but um, if you go there, you'll notice it without a doubt. Also, um, if you stay at the hotel, if you stay at the suite in particular in the hotel, you can get um, a flower jar if you stayed there three times, but it costs 600 coins altogether, so it's up to you. Yeah, the groom to be ordered this special cake. Uh oh, more on that cake later. But anyhow, we found our way in. Halt, who goes there? You look like Mario, but the door's shut tight. Listen, mustache, you and your overgrown turtle friend can take a hike. Go, scat. Make like Mario and jump out of here. Get lost. Oh, oops. Oh, we've got a problem. I better go tell Booster. Hmm. Ha <laughs> ha. You lack the strength to open that door. It won't budge. Say, wanna help me bust down this door so I can, you know, warn Booster about you? So, you've gotta time out your run. Right as he gets to the ground, start running. I am really bad at this. Oh. Alright, alright. One more time. Come on. No, damn. Alright. Come on, we got this. And, yes, alright. Stop! Booster, sir! Mario's here! You clowns, you don't break a door down and one entering a room. Shut it, shut it now, move it, move it. Mario, is that you, Mario? I'm in here, hurry, I'm scared. All right, so we got to figure out a way to get in. We're pretty sure Mr. Mustache can't break in here, but that turtle looks pretty mean. He could be trouble. They have no idea what they're up against. I'm lightning in a bottle, I'm an earthquake in a can. I'll bust this open in no time. So now Booster, or not Booster, Bowser's gonna try to bust the door down. On three, bam! Boom! Well, head trauma for the princess this time. Ow! Watch what you're doing! Great! Now I've dropped my shoes, my ring, my brooch, and my crown! Booster, sir! Booster, I, um, uh, don't bother me now. Okay, everyone. The bride is growing impatient. Let the wedding begin. What's this? Water coming from your eyes? Are you leaking, my dear? Oh, looks like she's, uh, taste salty. Oh, oh, I guess he caught her tears in his mouth. I thought he like, licked her face or something. Crying. That's what people do when they're sad. How disgusting! That stuff must be corrosive! It tastes like the sea! What could be making her cry anyway? I believe she's crying because she lost... she dropped some of her gear. Ah, of course! She dropped her gear! But those tears will ruin the cake! Make her stop! Before Mario breaks in! Well, it's a little late for that, I'm afraid. But Mario's already in! Booster, sir, hurry and find her things. We have to get on with the wedding. In the meantime, perhaps we can do something about the cake? Ten more, good buddy. You find her stuff. I'll move the ceremony forward. Hurry. Uh-oh. Booster, sir. Oh, hold on. Booster, sir, you're supposed to be on the right. The bride should be on the left. Just testing. Like this, right? Booster, sir, I found the ring. Booster, here's the brooch. Brooch, rather. Booster, sir, I, f I found the shoes. Hey, wait. Wasn't there one more thing? You're right, the crown. Hurry and get the accessories from the Sniffets and save Princess Toadstool. If you're quick, something good just might happen. So, you have to f run up to all three of these Sniffets, and they will very willingly hand over the item, thinking that you're working for Booster, I guess. Go give this to Booster. So, we gotta get our shoes, or brooch, and, wow, we got the third one really fast. That's awesome. So, if you can do it that fast, and then grab the crown off of Booster's head, 
And then talk to Booster over here. Ho oh, ho ho, here it is. Hey, you're Mario. So you come to crash my wedding, I presume. Mario, you're finally here. Shriek! What is Bowser doing here? What a waste of time. I've got bigger fish to fry. I know I'm in good hands when you're around, Mario. Here's a kiss for my hero. Oh, isn't that great? You're gonna kiss him when I'm the one who saved your skin. Me too. I want a reward. I'll take a kiss. Give me a kiss. Stop it, all of you. I'm getting so confused. Mario, let's start with you. So wait, she's gonna give kisses to everyone then? Well, anyhow, this is all relevant to how quickly you got those items back from the snippets. If you do it really quick, you'll get Princess to give you a kiss. And if you do it really slowly, Booster and Bowser will end up giving you kisses. Feels like sunpaper! Speaking of kissing each other, Booster and Bowser, oh yeah! Some sort of a crazy bestiality-ish situation we have going on over there. What the? Now that's one for the scrapbook! Come, Mario, let's get back to Mushroom Kingdom. The Chancellor's waiting for us. Mm-hmm, good idea. And Bowser joins us. Zuri, you do have kept you waiting. We've made the most amazing cake. You won't believe it. Here is the cake. But where are our bride and groom? Where is everyone? This is big trouble. The bride is leaving? You're taking the bride away? But there won't be anyone to eat the cake! What? This can't be. We worked all day on it. You fools! Alright. Cake boss. Stop, stop. So these uh, little Koopa chefs will... Be very annoying and try to hit you, but ignore them. Your main focus here is the cake, and believe me, you're going to want to focus on the cake, because this is easily the hardest boss that we've fought since probably when we fought Boyer for the second star. And this guy doesn't even give you a star. So just, I would suggest Geno boost to both Mario and Bowser, and then just focus on the cake and do the best you can. And I'm at level 11, too. You probably aren't supposed to be that high around here, you're probably only supposed to be 9 or 10, so play this battle very strategically is the best advice that I can give you. Oh, 378. Awesome. What was that? You see the cake? What kind of move it looked like? Poke, poke, poke. Ouch, ouch! What are you doing? Chef Torte, the cake's moving! What? Vas is not moving! Back to work. I know it was moving. What did you put in that cake, man? Seriously. Are there people? Is that cake made of people? Soil and green cake? Perhaps. What is this now? Poke, poke, poke. Ouch, ouch. Now what? Chef Torte. The cake's moving. Talk no more of this. No, really, truly. Why would I lie? Because you are idiots! <laughs> I love the English there. Because you are idiot. See, it is not moving. Oh. Huh? The cake's alive! Run! We've made an abomination! See, I was right! Uh, and the candles laid up on its head, which indicate its health, pretty much. Blow those candles out. Uh, pretty much as long as you hit them, I think, for over a hundred, it will knock out one of the candles, which isn't too hard to do. Gino Bean! Ooh, unless you only do 88, but, um, 314. I mean, you really shouldn't have too much of a problem. Diamond Saw, but this guy sucks. Seriously. 51 damage, now Sandstorm. Now, if you really want to come into this battle with like fully equipped for it, I would suggest getting three fearless pins, because Sandstorm is a pretty common attack that he does, and it causes the Fright status effect on your guys, and uh, that causes your attack power to drop by half. So you really, really want to be careful um, with things. I think I'm going to do it, guys. I'm going to use the Yoshi's Cookie! I have no idea what this does. 
Okay, Yoshi showed up. Eat a cookie. Eat him. What? What? He gave us like a piece of candy or something. What was that? Oh, Yoshi, you're so good at eating things, and then the one time that I need you to eat something, which is a cake, something edible for once, you fail. Oh, drain beam. Oh, damn, pretty good damage to everyone. Gino, no! He is it. Oh, Yoshi candy. I should have tried that, maybe. Oh, well, forget about it. We gotta focus on this fight now. Oh, Mario's half dead. Gino's all dead. Bowser can take a really good beating, though, which is nice. I don't know if I mentioned in the last episode that I went back and got the work pants for Bowser, because the work pants are still better than any of the armor you can get in this town. And if you got the masher weapon for Mario, um, I think I mentioned this in the last episode, but if you got that for him, then that's even better than the weapon that you can get for him in this town. Um, also, if you got the chomp for uh, Bowser, that's better than the weapon you can get for him in this town as well. The only weapon you really need to get are um, is the handgun for Gino which I don't know if we'll get a chance to use at this point, and uh, something uh, something for Malo that escapes me right now. I, forget, I don't even think I bought it, because I don't plan on using Malo for a little while still at least. But this guy, oh man. Okay, 127, down to two candles. Just keep on keep on hitting them. 158, one candle left. All right. Ooh, oh, jeez. Oh, and a drain beam on top of that? Oh. Oh, I think Mario's dead. Oh no, he's still at 25. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, but as you can see there, the uh, candles start to come back. They're like those stupid magic candles you might have had when you were a kid. Oh, down to no candles. All right. Oh, but that's not quite it yet. I guess I have to give him like one final blow even after all the candles go out to be able to finish this. Drain beam! Oh, okay, well, now Mario's definitely gone. Oh, jeez. Oh... I don't really want to use Bowser all by himself, but he does a lot of damage, and he can definitely take the hits. But, no, I should definitely bring bring Mario back, at least. I should bring Gino back, too. But we'll bring Mario back for now, because he can do a pretty good amount of damage, although he's not going to have the Gino boost on him anymore, so... Let's see. Oh, 276, though. Okay, that's not bad. Lullaby. I don't know if we have any... Actually, I think Gino had the wake-up pin on him, which prevents sleep. So, oh, now Mario's asleep. Great. No sandstorm. Well, I guess I will wake him right back up, but now he's going to get hit with the fright status. Jeez, yeah, like I said, this is a tough fight. Like, if you're not ready for this one, then you should really go go back to Booster's Tower, do some level grinding there, or, you know, get fully equipped, because, okay, there, finally, we beat the top part of it, but that's not even it. Like, that's not even the end of the fight. You still have to fight this little lower half, which is just, I think probably has about 500 HP, if I were to, were to guess. And he still does the same kind of moves that he did when he was in the full form, so I don't think it's going to get any easier, really. Oh, should I bring Gino back? No, let's just keep on fighting. We must finish this cake off! 150, jeez, come on. It's probably almost dead. Oh, uh, should I risk Super Flame? Uh, come on! Come on! Uh, I don't know about this, because Gino Blast... Oh, come on, Zero? Ugh. Oh, man. I mean, I know Geno Beam did nothing, but I did not expect that to do absolutely nothing. Jeez. See, this is why I'm not much of a magic user. You can see now. Save your magic for healing, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, oh, should I... No, I'm gonna bring Geno back. If anything, even if... I think the cake's almost dead, but if anything, at least... We will get the experience... Geno will get the experience. And I think, just to be on the safe side, we're gonna give a mushroom to Mario. Just so that I for sure can win this, because that got a little close there. If it weren't for Bowser having a ridiculous amount of defense. Oh, oh, okay, there you go. Maybe we ought to wait. This is Booster's wedding cake. He'll have a fit if we nibble on it. No, well, that was really unnecessary, guys, to come in and say all that. Hey, number one, where's my cake? Booster, sir, there's a 70% chance the object you're standing on is a cake. But the cake could be a lie, so there's a 30% chance it's not. This thing's a cake? Okay, everyone, here's the stumper. How do we eat this? I say we boil it. Number two, what do you say? Way too messy. Why don't we just swallow it? What? In one gulp? That's easier said than done. Come on, Booster. You can do it. 
Open wide, please. Uh, my nerves are shot. I feel like I've forgotten to tie my cord before a bungee jump. Here it comes. Wait, wait! Did that cake just move? Concentrate, sir. This doesn't feel right. That cake's alive. It has the right to live. Oh, soil and green cake. Mmm, so yummy. Mmm, delicious. It's so good, it makes me want to cry. Congratulations, sir. The wedding is now officially over. Thanks, everyone. It's a wrap. Let's go. And with that, you are done with Booster, pretty much. Hmm, kind of anticlimactic, really. Although if you do lo lose that curtain mini game back when, uh, you know, when we did all that jazz a couple episodes ago, that was wonderful. Mario, you're my knight in shining armor. Finally, let's get back. And yeah, uh, they talk about getting married and all this stuff. But if you lose that curtain mini game, then after getting caught three times, you actually have to fight Booster in a boss battle, which is a kind of a tough boss battle. But with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have Princess, and we have all five members of our team. And so it's time to take her back home. But there are a couple little fun things we can do here. Mario! That creepy guy just left. Does that mean we can go on with our wedding? Oh, Raz, I'm so happy. Let's get this wedding over with so we can stay in the suite and go on our honeymoon. Let's do it. All right. You'll have to excuse us. Oh, that honeymoon suite, let me tell you. It's nice. I've stayed there three times myself. Hey, everyone, we're going to start from the beginning. Please go back in. So they'll go on in, and one little fun thing you can do that is completely unnecessary, but it's a little, I don't know, maybe Easter egg-ish? Not so much, though. But you can run up to the altar, and Mario can become the preacher. And of course, as you might expect with someone as popular as Mario, he has the official ability to wed people together. Go figure. Oh, well. Oh, and you can go over here and become part of a wedding picture. Okay, get a little closer now. Ready? All right. One, two. Hey, you there. Why the long face? This isn't a funeral, you know. All right. On the count of three, say, Ah! All right, guys. Well, that's it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. This has been the Johnny Cage. Please subscribe, comment, and like if you have not. And I will see you all next time.